Hi, my name is Mel Armstrong. I'm an illustrator and surface pattern designer from Wellington, New Zealand. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create seamless patterns in Procreate. I'm also going to show you how to upload those patterns to Spoonflower to print on fabric. Let's get started. So I have a canvas here, I will show you that it is 10 by 10 inches and it's 300 dpi. You can choose any size you like as long as it's a square. So I'm going to draw some dragonflies. So I have a palette here, I'm going to use that brush. to use a clipping mask to add some detail to the wings. And I'll group those wings and duplicate them and flip them over, put them on the other side. I'm going to turn that snapping off, we don't need it at the moment. group all those groups together and I'm going to merge and flatten it. I'm going to duplicate that. We might scale them down a bit. I'm just going to arrange them on my canvas just ensure you don't go outside the the square the canvas and maybe create one more Make this one a bit smaller and I'm going to add some other details maybe some flowers Go with some branches first. Okay, I'm going to merge those flowers and merge the dragonflies and merge the leaves, branches, and let's group all of those elements. Okay, now it's time to create a pattern. So first I'm just going to add a background layer to this. So I'm going to add a layer at the bottom of my group and I'm going to use this pink colour and just going to drag it in there. And then I'm going to use three fingers to copy all and then paste. And what that's done is created a copy of our group and merged it together. So let's turn off the original and with this one Turn on the selection tool, ensure that you've got snapping on, magnetics is helpful as well. And we're going to drag it to the left until it snaps into position. And you can tell here by looking at the nodes that you are in the right spot. And then I'm going to paste again. 
and drag it to the right. And then I'm going to merge those layers. And at this point, you might want to add some more elements. So I might add some more flowers. So I might create a new layer here. And let's just add in, oh, let's select the yellow one and make some little dots. Let's merge all of those layers. Merge it down to the pattern. Copy that layer, paste it. And let's drag that one to the top. Paste it again and drag it to the bottom. Let's merge those layers. To test that, I'm just going to duplicate it and resize it down to the bottom quadrant and let's duplicate that and drag it up. And you can see that that's matching up. Merge it down, duplicate it, drag it across. And now you can see it repeats beautifully. So let's Remove that, that's our repeating tile. I'm going to export it as a JPEG and just save it to my photos. So here we are in Spoonflower. I'm going to upload my design. Select my file from my photo library. Click on the o I own the rights, then upload. And here you can choose any fabric you like. You can select a test swatch or a fat quarter or yards and then add to your cart and have it printed. Thank you.